briefcase, briefs, and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. In 1995, the New York Court of Appeals heard a case, Dalton V. Educational Testing Service, which focused on the idea that parties entering into a contract have an implicit duty to act in good faith and treat each other fairly. This includes obligations to consider relevant material and fulfill promises made in the contract. The case involved student Brian Dalton, who took the SAT twice and saw a significant increase in his score. However, the Educational Testing Service, ETS, questioned the validity of his November score due to disparate handwriting and preliminarily decided to cancel it. Dalton's parent provided additional information to the Board of Review, which ETS did not properly consider, leading to a court case. The court found that ETS breached its contract with Dalton by failing to evaluate the information provided by his parent and not acting in good faith. However, the court decided that ETS must comply with the stated procedures, but did not necessarily need to release the question scores as ordered by the lower courts. The main relevant events in this case were ETS policy of reviewing answer sheets, the additional information provided by Dalton's parent, and ETS failure to properly consider this information. As a result, the court held that ETS breached its contract with Dalton's parent by not considering the relevant information provided, and that the appropriate remedy was for ETS to follow its procedures in good faith. The dissent argued that lower courts relied on ETS' failure to investigate Dalton's information, and the court ultimately ruled that Dalton was entitled to specific performance, but not the release of his score. The modified appellate division orders were affirmed without costs. Case briefs and so much more. LS Data's got what you're looking for. Visit lse.law. Elevate your mind. Leave the stress of class.